that's that's what a toe is. Okay, babe, it is a red flag, but it's a red flag in a good way. Like, okay, this is the type of girl you want to go for. I'm no, it's all right. I'm trying to save face. Yeah. yeah, it's just strange silent to me about because it I really care. Well, right I have really certainly brands <laughs> currently it's doing a lot that different with me. than a grocery uh, bag. Okay. Well, well, okay, what's the problem though? Because we probably have got a grocery bag. Grocery bag is wider. Okay. Like a wider tote. Mm -hmm. Um. Maybe shorter. Yeah, shorter. Like think the Trader Joe's ones. We have. Okay, but check this. When we lived in California, and they started taxing people for the plastic, everybody started selling grocery bags look like your tote. So that's why. Good morning, guys. Um, hope you're having a good day whenever you're watching this. So I decided to wake up today to come and work out, but my body is still hurting because I've been in the gym these past few days. And so. <laughs> and so I've just decided to do some stretches, um, jump rope a bit, and um, just read. Basically, we are having no shaving for the next two hours. It is half past six. It is very windy today. Um, if you can see the street behind me, it is shaking profusely. Um, so I decided that coming here and reading a bit will do me some good. Um, I'm actually currently reading Ecclesiastes and I'm really loving it. It is very full of a lot of satire and I'm enjoying that. Um, and also thinking deeply about the things that is said in that book. It's in the Bible so you guys can read it. It's just after Proverbs I think. But today I got the urge to vlog last night actually and so that is why I'm vlogging. Okay, there are a lot of people here, not a lot, just three people, but all of a sudden when I started vlogging, like people start walking past me. But anyway, because it's going to be a long, eventful day, I've been at home for the past week and so I just got back and now my mentees are hitting me up, which I told them to do. My church community is also hitting me up, which they are supposed to, um, and so I also have this um math tutorial i think it's my last tutorial for the year for the semester and then um yeah that's basically all i can think of right now i'm a little bit scattered brained because it is the morning just woke up um i haven't spoken to anyone yet okay i haven't for the past few months i haven't actually like been excited to vlog and i'm excited for the first time in a really long time and so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that i will enjoy filming it and editing and everything um something kind of big i'm not really sure but something is happening and the lord is stirring up my spirit once again i think i kind of fell off on the thing of um what i know god has called me to do um, with our generation with this youtube channel with my creativity that i don't even really believe that i have but because he says i do i definitely will go in and discover that um, basically i started just vlogging looking at numbers looking at the subscriptions and i was losing my strength and i'm like lord did you even call me to this because if you called me to this then why am i not growing i've been doing youtube for two years now i've been pretty much consistent since last year except for the past few months but i'm back and um i'm back as in i'm actually excited to be doing this again and excited to be working through um the kind of content i want to put up because i do want this content to um help you guys to grow your faith instead of just trying to entertain you and i'm not very good at speaking i'm better at writing than i am at speaking but i am gonna do both i'm gonna do vlogs and i'm gonna do sit down talking videos with a script and everything um, i'm excited and i hope you guys are as well so let me just start reading okay because i've been talking for a long time well i think what is so appealing about these other doctors is that they're not actually certified the price is lower See the wind. It's not 
guess we have still to buy. It literally looks like it's about to rain and so I have to cut off my reading time. I'm really enjoying Ecclesiastes guys, there's so much wisdom in this book but I do have to go back to this. This lighting is horrendous but I am back at my res. I'm back in my room I am eating breakfast and um, it is almost half past eight I've been very slow in getting ready um, right now I'm watching some Milo Murphy I've been watching a lot of cartoons because there's honestly everything that is playing that's on TV, Netflix, whatever. It's not the vibe, it's not doing what it should be doing. And so I've been watching a lot of cartoons. If there's still electricity, I'm going to get my things ready. I actually still have my bags from when I went home, when I visited home. I got back yesterday and I still have not packed out my things. So I'm just going to take advantage of that and go and do laundry and work on my sociology essay at the same time. I'm usually the type of person who gets home from a trip and immediately packs my things away, sorts out the dirty laundry and all of that. But I don't know what happened yesterday. It's just laziness on a new level for me personally. Even if I get home at 3 a.m. and I'm tired, I get home and I'm starting to unpack things and my mom was like can you just sleep but this time I just got home and I still haven't unpacked I'm literally shocked at myself I don't know who I am anymore Okay you guys, so I just sorted my laundry into this bag but I realized that I actually have to book a slot to do laundry and I didn't do that. I completely forgot that that is the only thing. So I'm gonna have to go do laundry in like two hours or whenever I find a slot available and then I will take you guys with me for that. But right now I'm going to, I guess, do a psychology quiz. I've been using this one app called Study Smarter where you can find quizzes for different courses, different tests and all of that, different topics. And you can also make your own quizzes if you know you don't find any quizzes that align with what your school your university is testing so i've been making my own quizzes i'm gonna go and add to that but first i'm going to wash the dishes I just got back to my room and I'm about to have some lunch. I finished the laundry, put it away, and I'm going to eat a croissant with some coffee. Um, I have my maths tutorial in 15 minutes. Basically, that's all I wanted to let you guys in on. So 
I just got out of my maths tutorial and I am finishing up some planning and booking for my driving lessons. Um, I've just been forgetting on and off and been busy with schoolwork and not really sure that I could handle schoolwork and driving lessons at the same time. So I'm finally going to um, finish booking those and then i'm going to meet up with some people so that we can go to upper campus and buy some snacks um i'm so excited about tomorrow i'm still deciding if i'm going to vlog the day hey guys so i was supposed to go buy snacks on campus but um everyone is late i didn't go to upper campus because i have an event at three p.m. and um, they were proposing to go at half past two and not at two anymore so I've decided to just stay back and I'll contribute a different way for the picnic but yeah I've just been using this hour to rest I feel like I'm shutting down like I've just been doing so much today that my body is just like stop so it is time for my event meeting to start um so just to explain it to you guys a little bit because i realized that i didn't i got a position as a faculty mentor for next year which i'm so excited about um it's what i wanted to be this year but i've really loved being a res mentor this year and i hope i can be a res mentor next year again but if i don't it's okay um I'm going to be a faculty mentor and so we're having our introductory event where we are meeting other mentors and everything it is online um, I'm really excited I'm also very nervous because I do tend to shut down a bit in situations where people are meeting each other especially if it's online um, when it's in person I can kind of prepare myself days or hours in advance to just be like okay you are going to go up to one person and speak to them and it does get awkward because i am inherently an awkward person but um it always turns out good i get to know certain people and yeah i'm just trying to log in and find the details now it is probably three or two minutes until the event and i'm kind of nervous because i haven't gotten an email um updating us about this so it says it was from one to two o'clock you're joking the entire hour i spent just resting and not doing anything and now i've missed like kind of the most important event of my year i'm gonna be honest with you guys i totally just want to get into bed watch a movie and eat right now i'm just i'm so disappointed because i was looking forward to this event so much but missing it makes me so sad um, but I'm going to just get up and go join everyone on campus and check out what we're buying. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to not bring everyone else's mood down. But I guess it is what it is. It's really sad, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take you guys with me and I'll be listening to the Messy Masterpiece podcast. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Messy Masterpiece Podcast with Chad and Tori. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, y'all. And before we jump into today's devotional, I just want to give a quick thank you to all the kind messages that everyone sent regarding the video we posted yesterday mm -hmm. on our house and showing more of it, how we're starting to move in. And there's just an overwhelming amount of kind messages. <laughs> Hey 
struggling to find good lighting for this scene so i'm sorry about the quality of the video but i just wanted to let you know that i got back from shopping with some friends we got some cake drinks chips snacks all around and then for tomorrow and i'm going to be meeting with my mentee at 7 pm today and then sleeping so now i'm about to have dinner it is half past five pm and i'm so ready for this day to be over my feet are so so but we praise god that this day was actually very productive got a lot of things done and you know i'm sad about the disappointment but overall it's been a good day and i've enjoyed it and i hope that you guys have enjoyed this vlog as well if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to um i will see you guys in my next video bye guys